Hi everyone and good evening and good morning. Okay, our lesson for today is all about periodic table of elements. Okay? Yung instructions nito ay pareho lang din sa dating video na napanood ng class. Okay? After watching you, after watching you this video, magkakaroon kayo na online quiz. Okay? Again, I'll repeat our lesson for today is all about periodic table of elements. Lahat ng mga papaliwanag ko dito is a sort, parang short, short discussion lang. Okay, let's start. Okay, before we proceed to the actual form of periodic table, I want you to know class that there are, or there are 20 elements, or there are, there are first 20 elements of the periodic table. Okay, first, first is, let Okay, first is hydrogen. We also have helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. Remember class, these are elements or these are 20 elements ang nakauna-unang nakalagay or na-publish na dito sa periodic table. Okay? Kung titignan nyo class, okay, okay, malaki siya. Malaking H. Ibig sabihin, ang ibig sabihin ng H ay hydrogen. Pero kung titignan nyo class, pag dalawang letters na, dapat yung kasunod na letter, it should be um, small letters. Dap, lagi niyo tatandaan ang unang letter sa pagsulat ng, ng chemical symbols na periodic table elements or elements dapat big letter o nakakapitalize. Pag kasunod niya, dapat small letters. Okay? Sa bawat chemical symbols class, may tinatawag tayong atomic number. For example, hydrogen, the atomic number of hydrogen is 1. Bakit 1? Kasi siya yung kauna-unahang uh, elements na nakalagay sa periodic table. Later on, nakikita nyo. Okay, protons. Bakit protons? Kasi ang protons would have the same number sa atomic number. Pero hindi natin, na, hindi natin yan pag-uusapan ngayon. We will, we will discuss that later pag pasukan na. Okay, again, ulitin ko. Pag nagsulat kayo ng chemical sim symbols, rather, ng dagat tulad nito, beryllium, it should be the B is capitalized and the other E it should be right it ng maliit, maliit lamang. For example, silicon, hindi pwedeng malaking I yan. Dapat small I, small I, tapos malaking S. Just like this one, magnesium. Okay? Now, here in a calcium class, yung atomic number niya is 20 kasi Doon siya nakalagay sa number 20. Later on, again, makikita nyo kung bakit ganito. Tapos, ang protons sa din 20 kasi um, kung ano ang number ng protons ay ng atomic number, ganun din ang number ng protons. So, may rules and regulation to class when it comes to pagbabasa ng protons, numbers of protons at electrons. But we will not discuss that anymore sa video na ito. Okay, ulitin natin class. There are 20 elements of the periodic table na makikita nyo again. Um, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. Take note class, you need to memorize all the elements written on the periodic table. Because someday, or pagdating na pasokan, I'll, I'm going to ask you one by one kung alam nyo yung mga elements na nakasulat sa periodic table. Okay? Let's move now to next slides. Ito class, ito yung ganitong itsura ng periodic table of elements. Actually class, you can buy these materials sa National Bookstore. Um, I think it's worth um, 100 plus lang ata to. Kung gusto nyo. For since all of you is in an online class, hindi nyo na kailangan bumili, kundi mag-print out na lang kayo gamit, gamit nito o kaya mag-research ka about this. Okay. Let's let's start. Okay. Nakik nakikita nyo ba itong grupo nito class? Itong number one? Itong pababa na to class? 
Ang tawag nyo dito ay my family. Family from hydrogen down to francium. Okay? Ito ay family ng alkaline metals. This one is family ng alkaline earth metals from beryllium down to radium. Okay? Ganun din dito class sa kabila. From boron to helium, these are the groups of metals, or not metals, but non-metals. Non-metals, so from boron to helium, okay? From helium down to radon, these are group of, of group or family group of noble gases. Kasunod niya is halogens from fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or bromine, iodine, and astatine. And then calcogens. Ito ay grupo to siya ng calcogens from oxygen down to polonium. And then, this one is the nitrogen groups from nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, and muscovium. Okay? These, ano, may papala isa class. Carbon, these are the carbon groups. Car carbon groups, sorry. Carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead, and flibium. Boron. Aluminum, gallium, indium, thallium. Okay, tandaan nyo ka sa, ulitin ko, mula dito sa taas, pababa, these are the group. Okay, group yan sila. Group ng alkaline metals. Itong pangalawang group mula taas, pababa, o column. Ang tawag nito ay alkaline earth metals. Dito naman tayo sa kabila, ang tawag nyo dito ay noble gases. This one, halogen groups. This one, calcogen groups. This one is nitrogen groups. This one is a carbon group. And this one is boron group. Tandaan nyo, class, from boron to helium, these are the non-metals. Ibig sabihin, class, hindi to sila. I, these are the non-metals. At may tinatawag din tayong metalloids. Ibig sabihin, these uh, metalloids ay combination ng metal at non metal na elements. Okay, later on, pag nag-discuss tayo, susunod na lesson natin, i-expound ko to ng naibig class. So, again, class, pag may nakita kayong block, ito, block color na, na, na chemical symbol, for example, magnesium, scadium, titanium, vanadium, these are solid na element. Ibig sabihin, solid sila. Okay? Pag may nakita kayong blue class, blue, For example, asa ng blue dito? Blue. Uh, this one, mercury. Liquid. Okay? As you can see, mercury lang ang merong o ang liquid sa elements na to. Pag may nakita kayong red class o gas, ibig sabihin these are the gases. Mga gaseous elements. Ito, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Okay? Pag RF class, ibig sabihin mga unknown. Mga unknown, this one, itong sa baba. Unknown elements. Okay? Next is, next is, um, ang group, mula dito sa, ah, huwag ito pa, itong green. Mula dito sa scadium, papuntang zinc, dito sa baba, nakikita nyo ang class, alakihan natin ng ano. Okay? Mula dyan hanggang dito, sila yung lantanoids o lantanoids o lantanide group. Itong area to. Okay? Area to. Okay? Itong area naman sa baba class, as you can see, ito yung area or, or, or group ng actinoids o actanides. Okay? Actanides to class ha? Okay, kanina na ituro ko sa inyo yung family. Ngayon, ituturo ko naman sa inyo class yung per period. Okay, mula 1, papunta dito class, period 1 yan. Ibig sabihin yung hydrogen and helium period 1. Okay? Sunod, ang period 2 class, itong naka-straight yan. Yung straight na yan, yan ang period 2. Mula lithium hanggang neon. Those are the elements that belongs to uh, period 2. Ganun din sa number 3. From sodium to argon. Those are the elements that belong to, that belongs to period 3. Kaya nakikita nyo class may period 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ibig sabihin, these are the period. For example, pag sinabi ko, anong period na papabilang ang radium? Ibig sabihin, hanapin yung radium. Ang period, 
Ibig sabihin na sa period 7. Ano namang family na papabilang ang tin? Ang tin, this one, tin, SN, na papabilang siya sa carbon group o carbon family. Okay, did you get it? Tandaan yung class. Ang period mula 1, mula left side, papuntang right side. Pag sinabi namang, um, what do you call this one? A family, uh, mula taas, pababa. O in short, column. Column ang family. And then, yung period is row. Tandaan nyo na, basa row, those are the periods. And yung mula taas, pababa, yun ang column. Okay, tandaan nyo class. But take note, kailangan nyo itong i-memorize sa darating na pasukan. Memorize nyo yan. Okay? That's all for today. And thank you. Sana may naitindihan kayo kahit very short lang. Thank you and good evening.